Hi guys, this video is all about three easy types of kale to grow in your vegetable garden. We all wanna grow healthy, nutritious greens in our gardens to have our own little patch of superfoods out in the backyard. Um, and some greens are easy to grow, but some are not. Uh, fortunately, kale is one of the easiest greens to grow and there's a few common kinds um, that are wonderfully cold tolerant. You can harvest them multiple times and you're, you're likely to have success with as a new gardener. Number one is Scotch Curly Kale. This is that frilly kind of green blue kale that you see at the grocery store. It's common, it's delicious, it's nutritious, and fortunately very easy to grow. This stuff is cold tolerant and it's really easy to grow directly from seeds in your garden. Some of the variety names you might see when shopping for curled Scotch Kale are Blue Scotch Kale, Blue Curled Kale, Vates Blue Curled Scotch Kale, uh, there's some dwarf kinds of Dwarf Curled Kale or Dwarf Blue Curled. All of these seeds are going to grow into the same type of kale that you see at the grocery store with the frilly leaves and that blue green color. Scotch Curly Kale is great in salads, uh, it's great in smoothies, and of course, kale chips. The second kind of kale is Italian lacinato kale. These are those bumpy, long leaves that have a dark, greeny, almost black color. Italian lacinato type kales are sold under lots of different names, different varieties. It might just be labeled as Italian kale or Tuscan kale. Dinosaur kale is another really common name for it. Flat black kale or Cavallo Nero. Black cabbage, Tuscan cabbage, even black Tuscan palm or palm tree kale, because as you start to harvest it, it does start to look a bit like a tree, like a palm tree. The Italian last nano kales are excellent in salads and they're also really good in soups, they're fantastic in soups. While the Italian kind of dinosaur kale is not quite as common as maybe the Scotch curly kale in the grocery stores, um, it's often included in the baby kale mixes too. So you can find the Italian lacinato kale sold by itself, but you can also usually find it in the baby kale mixes. The third type of kale is red Russian kale. This is a beautiful flat leaf type with kind of these delicate green leaves, but the stem is this red purple color. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a really fun kind of gourmet variety to grow. It's also included in mixes of baby greens and in kale seed mixes. It's great in soups, salads, and of course, in baby green mixes. Fortunately, kale seeds are generally really easy to find. I'll put the links in the descriptions to the ones that I show on, on the screen here, uh, but I do encourage you to look locally because this is a really common type of seed and all three of these varieties are carried by many, many seed companies. So look around and see what's gonna work best for you. So let's take a look at a few of the different seeds you can buy to grow the Scotch curled type of kale. Here's a classic blue curled scotch kale. So this is from Baker Creek, but this is just a lovely heirloom type of the curled scotch kale. In addition to the heirloom seeds for kale, there's also some hybrid seeds that have been bred um, for productiveness, for pest resistance, and just to be kind of easier to grow. Perhaps the most common hybrid seed for scotch kale is winter boar. You see this a lot. It's the yeah, standard green curly kale, um, easy to grow. Hybrid kale seeds like winter boar have been bred to kind of be easier to grow and resist disease and pests more than some of the heirloom types. Uh, they use traditional methods to breed them, um, but they are a hybrid seed, so kind of like a newfangled seed. Blue Ridge is also a hybrid, just like winter boar. Um, it's similar to winter boar, um, but yeah, it should be a little bit easier to grow um, and perhaps have a slightly deeper coloration. So I haven't actually grown this kind. I have only grown the winter boar before, but I'm looking forward to trying this Blue Ridge kale. If you really want to use the heirloom seeds, you know, the seeds that have been around for generations instead of the newer hybrids, Dwarf Blue Curled Kale is a really nice one. It doesn't get quite as big, but it is a really reliable producer in the garden. Here's another picture of what the Dwarf Blue Curled Kale looks like when you grow it. So it just looks like a standard kale. It's just the plant is not going to grow as big as some of the other kale plants. Because the curled blue scotch kale is probably the most common type of kale, you can actually usually get it in little baby seedling plants too. I like to grow kale from seed. I like to just put the seeds in the ground and watch them grow. But if, 
If that's intimidating to you or you've tried that and it hasn't worked, you can get little seedling plants. Now let's look at some Italian lacinato kale seeds. Here's some seeds for your standard heirloom lacinato kale. It's absolutely beautiful. This is how it looks in the garden. So it actually looks quite a bit like it does at the store. This is just a lovely plant. Here's a specific type of lacinato type kale. This one is called Black Magic um, and it's been selected as being highly uniform. So yeah, it's a Tuscan kale, long narrow leaves, lacinato dinosaur type. Um, but I just think this one has a really nice color and the bumpy kind of Savoy texture is lovely too. Nero Toscana kale seeds. So black Tuscan kale seeds, uh, also known as dinosaur kale, black Tuscan kale, black cabbage and black palm. These are gonna also grow into that beautiful, dark, kind of bumpy long leaf Italian kale. Here's some black Tuscan kale seeds from Baker Creek. I love this photo here because it really does look like a palm tree. While we're on the Baker Creek site, I want to show you this dazzling blue kale. This is a lacinato type kale, but it has some beautiful kind of purpley, dusky blue colors. I really think it's gorgeous. It has that kind of red Russian stem, but the long leaves of the lacinato type. Speaking of the red stem, onto the seeds for growing red Russian kale. Here are some organic heirloom seeds for red Russian kale. You can see the beautiful purple red stem, the veining up into the green leaves, and it's just a beautiful green. Here's a photo on the Johnny Selected Seeds website. You can see it's just starting in this photo to turn to that lovely color. Here's a nice close up on the Fairy Moore Seed website, and you can see it's almost pink, this lovely stem running at the middle of the leaf. Here's a picture on the Haas website where you can see the bottom of the stems and notice how like vibrant red purple they are. If the red Russian is all sold out, but you really love the color, there's a few other choices you can pick. This is a newer type of kale called Scarlet. It's botanically different from the red Russian, uh, but it does have those kind of purple, lovely stems and the frilly greenish leaves with the purple hue in the, in the middle and the veining. Here's another picture of scarlet kale, and I assume that this was either taken later in the season or after some cold weather because the color has just gone from that green into an almost rich purple. So it, it truly is a scarlet kale at this point. Lastly, if you like this red purple color, but you're looking for something that's gonna be easy, easy to grow, I would recommend the hybrid red boar. Red boar is an easy to grow hybrid kind of kale that's gonna have those purple stems and even that kind of purple leaf, but it's gonna be a little bit easier to grow than maybe some of the heirloom or open pollinated types. Growing red boar is very similar to growing that winter boar kale that we looked at in the blue scotch curled section. So we've gone over these three kinds of kale that are easy to grow. You've got a few options now. You can just pick one or two and grow them by those seed packets and grow them, or you can look for a blend. These three kinds of kale are going to show up in most blends of kale seeds. So kale mixes, mixes of kale seeds that have different kinds of kale, different varieties. Let's look at a few mixes. Here's a blend of kale seeds that includes the Scotch Italian and the Red Russian. It's also got these dwarf Siberian improved. And this blend is really nice because they've picked all heirloom seeds. So if you're looking specifically for heirloom seeds, this is a nice mix. Here's another mix. This one is called Kale Bration Kale Mix from Johnny's. Uh, and I don't know the actual specific types in this mix, uh, but I think they've done a nice job of picking different colored greens, especially if you want to grow baby greens. And I think that's the intended purpose for this. But you can see the little baby lacinato greens and red Russian in here. I think this would be a nice one if you really would like to have smaller greens. Here's the kale seed blend from Burpee. It has the lacinato, the red Russian, and the dwarf blue curled. Uh, but it also has this premier kale, which is like a almost like a collard, like it's a flatter leaf. So that's kind of fun. I recommend any of these varieties for a new gardener to grow. They're gonna be relatively easy. There's lots of different types to pick from. You can go hybrid, you can go heirloom, you can pick different colors and textures. Like anything in the garden, kale is gonna be subject to pests. There are some little bugs that really like to eat our kale, uh, but fortunately there's some really good and effective organic ways to deal with pests. 
My favorite book for beginning kitchen gardening is this one. This is a newer gardening book. This one is called Kitchen Garden Revival by Nicole Johnsy Burke. I really like how she explains things. It doesn't make them seem too tricky or intimidating. It's very approachable. And it, yeah, it just takes some of the scary things about gardening away. So I really am happy with this book. I'd recommend this book if it's your first year growing greens in your garden or gardening in general. This is a fantastic book about growing food. Um, but you know, I've gardened for a few years. I'm still a beginner, but there's a ton that I learned from this book. So I really recommend this one. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and let me know in the comments which kinds of kale you like to grow. What have you grown before? What are you looking forward to? Let me know in the comments and I look forward to reading them. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.